This video is sponsored by my Fansly. Link in the link tree below. I'm in salad and I saw Polgasari. Uh, there's a lot of casting crew. I don't want to mispronounce their names. So you can just look them up if you're interested. But the backstory of this film is uh, the director was kidnapped by Kim Jong Il, who also has kidnapped me and has ordered him to make the world's greatest film and uh north korea is great it's awesome awesome i'm reviewing Pogasari because i'm wearing johanna from hack movies slash stuff like hearts merch speaking of which i did a commentary track and a review on Polgasari on Castilla vs. Podmonster. You can find the commentary track on patreon.com slash hackthemovies and also other future commentary tracks will be there as well. So go check it out. It's very fun. It just so happened that Kim Jong Il kidnapped me. That was a, that was a wacky time. I was not expecting that, but yes, I have reviewed this movie before. This movie starts, uh, you get a guy, oh, he's ruined the world with an iron fist. And that is the best kind of government, is the world with an iron fist. And, <laughs> oh boy, you get another guy who's not supposed to be there is like, hey, I'm going to plant this seed, an egg, an egg of some kind. And there's going to be a dinosaur kind of like thing that emerges from it. And it's like, hey, I want to eat and snack. I'm going to snack on some delicious metal. And of course, Pogasari, um, this is what's going to happen. All right, Pogasari, you're not allowed to be here. Okay, this is directly... This is an order by the North Korean government that you're not allowed to be there. And there's another guy, a traitor, shame, shame on him. He's the, he's the worst one. He's the worst guy of them all. He's planting an egg, an egg for Polgasari to rise and emerge. And Polgasari has a really insatiable urge for hunger give me yum yum in my tum tum but specifically for metal and he's just oh i'm gonna you know just eat some metal just exactly like just just the just exactly like that he eats metal just relentlessly and he goes up against countless armies and just massive amounts of weapons are being eaten and he gets bigger and bigger and bigger and this is a metaphor for how uh, the government so massive right they just will get bigger and bigger and bigger and it's it's an unstoppable force no matter how much you fight it will just eat you it will eat your guns and it will grow bigger and bigger and bigger i'm telling you this is the greatest movie ever it's it, it's awesome you you need you need to watch this movie i'm telling you 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 got to you got to do it you got to come on why aren't you and I, let me tell you why you should. So also, to get back on track, you also got, ah uh, yes, just m Mora armies, trying to, people trying to stop Pogasari. Like Pogasari is such a bad guy. I don't think Pogasari is the worst pe person ever, even if he is a person, because he's not, he's, he's the, He's brute, undetermined will. Actually, very determined what direction the will is going. He's a very focused, willful 
individual who will just eat metal. And I'm talking metal. Just come on, Polisari. You can do it. <laughs> no. So people keep fighting Polgasari, and Polgasari keeps winning, right? Here's a solution. Polgasari will just keep eating. And it is an unstoppable force because... Don't you just... You, can, you, cannot, you cannot fight against him. You, you can't. I'm telling you, you can't. Polgasari. Is awesome. I love Polgasari. Polgasari, please be my friend. Polgasari has done a great service for North Korea because Polgasari has represents the greatness of the having government. Big. Big government. That's the benefit. That's what Polgasari is all about, is big government. But, uh, alas, it is awesome. I love Polgasari. So anyway, Polgasari is like, I, I'm gonna eat this bell, right? Right, I like to eat bells. Bells are tasty, delicioso. And Polgasari has gone so big that he sounds very American or British or all those consonants. He sounds like all of them because he sounds like the world GDP co combined. He's that c powerful, just exactly like North Korea. By the way, you should you should remember how powerful North Korea. They have nukes. Uh, if if we mess with them, they're go they go kablam. It's mutual assured destruction, though. So that's why North Korea won't do the nukes. But still, North Korea will do the nukes. So that serve that as as a warning. That you will be warned. So yeah, uh, Polgasari, he wants to eat this bell, and there's a person in the bell, and it's like, hey, person, go scream, ah, scream, nope, I cannot have this person in my stomach, cause I'm simply allergic. It it also serves as a good metaphor for the government and the government cannot and consume a poisonous uh, person because it is unnatural for them to eat something they are not supposed to eat and so they will get sick and then it will collapse that's that's but this government north korea will not collapse because north korea is perfect so this ending doesn't really go well with the with the Polgasari thing, with the Polgasari metaphor. Uh, everything up until the exploding part is North Korea. The last part is uh, some other country. But yeah, that was my review of Polgasari. I want to be friends with Polgasari. I wish Polgasari was my friend. If I could re watch more Polgasari, I would. Man, I love Polg, sorry. Uh, I really like the practical effects of Polgasari. It was pretty great. Uh, the, especially with the techniques they used to show Polgasari eating metal. Then all the destruction caused by Polgasari eating metal. And Polgasari is just like, om nom nom, I don't care. I just love Polgasari. Oh man, Pogasari, please be my friend. Why won't you be my friend, Pogasari? You know, stuff like that. Pretty much. Have I mentioned that I want Pogasari to be my friend? Because he seems like a really rad guy. Like, he's just chillin'. He would eat all the metal. I guess he would eat my phone, too. If he were to eat my phone, I wouldn't be as cool with Pogasari. But you know what? That doesn't matter. I don't have my phone. Because I'm in North Korea. And North Korea is awesome. And I love it. And actually, Polgasari, please be my friend. You can do whatever you want. You can eat all the metal from me if you want. It's okay. I love you, Polgasari. Please. Please, Polgasari. Please. Please, Polgasari.
I give this film a solid 11 out of 10. It is the greatest film of all time. It is better than all the Quentin Tarantinos and all the Sam Raimi's and all the, the Robert Rodriguez's Rodriguez's and all the other ones by other directors. This one is the ultimate one. You cannot argue otherwise. Uh, if you do, then you are a traitor to North Korea, and you shall be banished, and goodbye. You're not allowed- You're not allowed on this YouTube channel. But if you're still here, you gotta like and subscribe. You gotta like and subscribe. If you like that content, I got a link tree in the links below for how you can support me. A movie request too. And three dollars a month daily vlog. So go check out the link tree down below. Until next time, on Mint Salad Saw, I'll see you later, my salad croutons and bacon bits.